All right, uh, this is Wayne with Fsuckin with Linux. Uh, that can be found at fsuckin.com. It's F-S-C-K-I-N.com. Uh, this is just a short demonstration of Team Fortress 2 uh, running under Ubuntu Linux. Uh, it's version 7.10 called Guts of Gibbon. Uh, we'll go ahead and load it up, and I'll talk a little bit more once we've got it running. Um, everything runs exactly the way you expect. Uh, there are a few tweaks that you need to do beforehand before you get everything working. Um, Everything works here. Um, you have the options into the video settings. Um, see this shitty little ATI graphics bullshit. Um, yeah, I'm actually uh, I'm running this on a 7800 GT, um, and it looks like this, the favorite server I had uh, was full. So we'll just go and find another server here. And join in. As you can see, I've I've only actually played the game uh, a couple times, uh, just get things up and running, and you know, so I don't have anything spectacular to show as far as stats. Um, it does run. Uh, has no problems running the uh, VAC security module. Um, it runs runs just the way that's supposed to. Um, let's see here. All right, sounds like we're going to have a lot of stuff going on, but uh, basically when you join the game, you get a welcome screen, everything is signed there. Um, tells you a little bit about the map. Um, you can actually watch a movie uh, about the map. Uh, Hydra is a territorial control point map. You got to control all six territories to win. Uh, everybody starts that with three. Seems pretty simple. Uh, so we'll go ahead and skip the movie. And we'll go ahead and spectate. Alright, so while this is going here, um, alright, so the few things I ran into that I needed to do to change uh, to get it to work was, first of all, I needed to um, go and actually um, copy the two DVDs uh, that come in the box. I needed to copy those over to the hard drive. Um, I needed to find the Tahoma font. Um, on Google, very easy. Um, there's going to be a guide on Suckin.com on exactly how to get everything working. Uh, but I copied that font file into uh, the one directory under uh, in Windows and Fonts, and uh, I need just need to change the default sound driver inside of Wine uh, from OSS over to ALSA, A-L-S-A. Um, as you can tell. I don't see any sort of graphical glitches or anything like that. Um, I have heard a couple of reports that it actually the texture quality is a little bit lower um, in in uh, Linux as compared to Windows. Um, you know, I'm actually right now um, down the bottom right hand corner. I have the net underscore graph. Uh, just bring down the console, type in net underscore graph space one. And once you uh, enter that command, you have a little a graph of how much, uh, what, what frames a second you're getting. Right now, I'm getting uh, about 60 frames a second, like solid. Um, oh wow, that's cool. I can turn it invisible. Pretty, pretty nifty. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I mean, this is like this is like super action. You know, you're, you're not going to see much more than this. Any, in, I mean, six, seven, eight characters on the screen at once, and I'm still getting, at the lowest, I'm seeing about 40 frames, but it's averaging 
about 60 to 70 frames a second. Um, now this map, I think, is a little bit uh, more intense than other games, uh, other maps, uh, because uh, on other maps I've seen uh, up to like 120 frames a second solid. And I don't have the greatest hardware in the world. Uh, all I've got is a, a 7800 GT and a 3.2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. Um, so yeah, here we go. Blue team wins. And that's it for now. Check out my website. It's fsckin.com. Sucking with Linux. Have a good day.